guys, it's Leo with Family Heritage Living. I just had a thought I wanted to share with you. Ron and I are kind of in, we're not in an, you know, a standalone group because there are actually several of us out there. There's just not many compared to the vast majority um, of, we're outnumbered, okay, so we're outnumbered. We're in a, in a unique group, I believe, where we are grandparent age, I'll be 48 this year, and Ron is going to be headed to 56. And many of our friends that we've known for years are grandparents now. And we are in raising our second set of children. You know, we have a four-year-old, and we have a seven-year-old, and then we have the 26-year-old and the 21-year-old. And I think the thing that makes this unique is it gives you certain insight um, to encourage, especially young parents that probably don't see certain things when they're young. Um, as much as, you know, your eyes become a little bit clearer in certain areas when you're older, you realize how quickly your children grow up. And you realize that, you know, that all the times you thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll worry about it tomorrow or I'll, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll take care of it tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's, they go by real fast and your kids grow up really quick. So... I was putting Christmas decorations up and I was having the two younger ones help me. And like everything, you know, I mean, most of the time it's when your kids are little and you're having them help you. Yeah, you know, it'd be a lot faster without them. But you miss out on a lot of opportunities when you think you have tomorrow to instruct and to guide and direct or when you think you're in a hurry and you can't take time to, you know, teach them and spend with them. I just want to encourage the parents out there today who have little ones to realize that what you invest today is re going to return to you tomorrow. Um, there's nothing so small that can't be instructed with a child, they can't learn from it, and there's nothing so important that can't be slowed down in your life where, your parent, where you can't include those children in those things to make them feel like they are being part of your life. Um, a lot of us, I think a lot of us end up alienating our, our little ones, not intentionally, but because they're little. And things, you know, take some expertise, certain things take some expertise. And certain times we're just, we're just busy. I mean, life is busy and it's stressful and it's hectic. But you will, you will regret it if you try to speed through these days while they're little. Enjoy every minute. Um, embrace them because one day they're going to be older and have a family of their own. And I think that's why p the parent people we know that are grandparents now, and, I, and even like our parents, you know, you hear all these things about, well, you know, they didn't really realize how great being a grandparent was until they had their grandchildren. I think it's because a lot of people can understand once they see their grandchildren what they missed out with their children. And it's that opportunity again for them to to feel like they could do it different or do it right and that's why I say I feel like Ron and I have that that moment in time where few have to have little ones at our age where we can see the importance of just slowing down and not rushing through and I'm not saying I'm not guilty boy oh boy it seems like I've had a harder time and since with these littler ones slowing down than I did with the first two and it's because you know, I, I do work now from home and we are extremely more into um, having to create a homestead. I mean, there's a lot of things and factors and maybe that's, so the two things combined, we can stop and say, you know what, y you need to slow down. You need to think about it um, because they're going to grow up and they're going to grow up fast and you just don't want to miss it because it's, it's a blessing you'll never get back. So I really hope that, that this speaks to a young parent's heart today and that they will take it to heart and just stop and, you know, evaluate what can you slow down in your life? How can you include your little ones in it to make them feel like they have ownership in the day-to-day -day happenings of your life? Um, it's something you'll never regret doing. But All right. God bless everyone. We'll talk soon.